I'm Roger Branch, uh, a native of, native of Trinidad and Tobago. I'm also a doctoral candidate in the field of international psychology. I am the director of forensic psychological services and a service partner for Converse. Um, my company has been instrumental in uh, designing law enforcement screening protocols for several of the Caribbean islands and we have been in business for uh, approximately 20 years. You know, when I read about uh, uh, iDetect and uh, I, I wanted to find out a bit more about it so I got in contact with the manufacturers, uh, Converse, and they said they were having a, a, a small meeting in, in Houston. I said, okay, I'm, I'm going to fly out there and I want to see this product. I mean, it sounds interesting, it, it, technology sounds strong, but I want to see it in operation. So I got there with an open mind. Uh, there were several other polygraph examiners there. And I saw the number test, the, the demo with the numbers. And the moment I, I, I saw the results, I called my wife immediately. I left the room and I said, look, honey, we have to get on board with this. This is it. This is what we need to do. We need to get this to the Caribbean fast. Um, it works. It really was surprising. Um, and in, in, in a few minutes, it got every person's number in that room, and I, I, I was sold at that point. I think the professionals in the field are somewhat uh, afraid of change. Um, it happens to all of us. Uh, first of all, I think many of them would be surprised to know that the same team of scientists that worked on developing the computerized polygraph are the same people who have developed the IDTEC technology. So what is the resistance? When you couple the accuracy of uh, the polygraph and the IDTEC, as a credibility assessment expert, by applying both of them and getting, a, a, say, a person who passes the exam, you are given the assurance using this multiple hills approach that you are actually finding the, the best suited individual. In the final analysis, you're really looking to find the best suited person for whatever job they are being selected for. So the more tools or the more techniques or that you can utilize in your profession, uh, the more significant or credible your work becomes. This can create a new profession for them, and not polygraphers, but credibility assessment experts. And until they start seeing themselves as that, they are missing out on what the future holds for the profession itself. If, if you look at the history of polygraph testing, it is important for polygraphers to be adaptable. We started off in the early days using an analog system, and when we changed over to the computerized polygraph, there was resistance, and with time, we're all now using the computerized polygraph. Uh, no one that I know of, uh, he uses a, a, an analog system. Now that in itself tells you, you know what, you, you should be ready for change. Um, you change from the analog, you're now changing from the computerized uh, system of the analog, and now you're adding to that using iDetect. You as a polygrapher, or anyone as a polygrapher, should be uh, cognizant that Accepting uh, advances in your technology is part of the profession. Change is inevitable, so it's not necessary to resist but to embrace.